biggest achievement so far would be the projects that I've made uh, personally. So whether that's like at uni or in like my spare time, I do a lot of photography um, and a lot of videos. My videos especially kind of like to combat like societal issues that I think you're addressing and I really like that that kind of drives me and that's what you kind of see in my videos and my projects so I think yeah the projects I've done so far and have yet to do in the future. I'd probably have to say my biggest achievement is being able to make it onto the committee for the Mutus Finance Society. Uh, currently I'm one of the co-heads of investment banking and the process was a lot like what you'd have to do if you were you know interviewing and applying for a job and I think it gave me a lot of really good experience that I can work from in finding internships and finding a job after university. Derek said Well, so far I'd say taking the train by myself because back home in Mauritius we don't have trains, it's just to travel by buses and cars. So when I came here, I had to take the train from Manchester to London and that day, that was a very unfortunate day for me. So all the trains to London got cancelled and I had to take a detour to Leeds. So I felt really proud of me when I went to Leeds and then made my way back to London so I didn't get lost. So that was my greatest achievement. Jim, they're lifting 200 kg, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the skydive experience that I had in Mauritius, waiting to jump off, it was just one of the most nerve wracking experiences I've had. But thank God I was standing, so the other person just jumped with me. So <laughs> I, that's one experience I'll never forget, and probably one of my biggest achievements in life. Um, being independent, like socially. Uh, probably going to uni, that's pretty great. Um, my biggest achievement so far has been getting into Erdogan Academy, which is like performing arts school. It's quite a big deal. And yeah, I didn't get in last year, but then I got in this year. I think uh, last year when I graduated from Uni of Manchester, it was probably the biggest achievement of my life. Um, I think graduation is obviously like a really important part of, and this is why you probably come to Uni, and obviously you want to get a job after that as well. Like. Well, after I came to UK, it's been my second year, so I actually started my own little nail business. I go people over people's house and I do their nails. It's actually one of my hobby. So I think that's my biggest achievement up till now. I have to. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, when I had the opportunity to play in front of the director of BBC, BBC3, yeah, I was in the cover of like the local newspaper. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, oh, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. Getting good enough A-levels to get into university and into the university of my choice, Manchester Uni. That was a big achievement. To come to uni and then top my class high school. To put it in a weird way, like sort of becoming an adult. I don't know if that's the right way of saying it, but um, like, Stuff that I've done this year that I wouldn't have been able to do, like wouldn't have conceived of being able to do like three years ago, like having had relationships, having like met people, having been able to cook for myself, um, having been able to like maturely deal with conversations in like a, an assertive way, like being able to stick up for myself. Um, I don't know, just sort of generally maturing, and like lots of little things have gone into that. My dream was to start in England and in Manchester. And uh, now I'm here. Yeah, yeah. so I achieved my dream. That's good. Well, it's changed depending on stage of my life. So with GCSEs, it was getting GCSEs to come back to sixth form. And then with sixth form, most recently, it was getting into university, getting the A levels. We look forward to what will come next. Don't know what it'll be. Biggest achievement would be graduating top of my class last year in my foundation course. I would probably have to say waking up every day and looking <laughs> this good. I mean, it's hard for some people, obviously, Kay struggles with things like that. Uh, no, I don't. But I like, the fact everything. that I can like wake up every day and like pull together a fantastic outfit with my hair looking gorgeous and just thinking it all together, a 10 out of 10. More like frizzy, my friend. <laughs> Coming from you. <laughs> I'm studying very hard right now. I'm in high school and I got what I want, so it's all A's. Mm. Yeah, so I'm really proud. I'm so happy. Uh, definitely passing my levels and getting into a medical school, for sure, because that was, that was a bitch. You'll have to speak quite loudly because there's loads of sound. How loud like this? No, it's hanged it louder. Like, like this! <laughs> perfect, perfect. <laughs> okay. Getting into Aston University, A-levels were really hard, so we need to get into university, that was great. During my gap year, I was working at a medical health research 
um, Institute up in the top of Australia. And I was just meant to be working in the lab, um, making microbiology plates and stuff. But um, I got involved with this team who was trying to start this health initiative where they would make a workshop about health education. Um, and I got really involved with that and I wrote this grant application, which I got told was just a practice. They were like, just write it and we'll like maybe submit it next year. And I was like, okay, so I wrote it. And then the lady who was running was like, that's good, we're gonna submit it. And I was like, oh, what? Um, but we got, we got some money and that was great. So we did our first um, workshop. And then since then it's gotten really big and now they fly all over the top of Australia um, delivering this workshop. And um, I see stuff about it in the news and every time I see it, I'm like, that's my, that's my baby over there. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a really big thing for me. Um, biggest achievement, probably finishing my A-level DT project. Uh, picture frame based on features of a car, so like brake discs, shock absorbers, brake calipers, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> um, so I'm from Ukraine and last year I was studying foundation program in London. It was really, really difficult because it's in different language, in a different country, first year living alone abroad, uh, studying new subjects, like new information, it was really difficult, I wasn't the brightest student in, in the course, um, but I studied hard because I understood that it's like, it's the point when my life is decided whether I'm gonna get like proper education or not. I got the highest average mark among all students who studied this program all around the world. <laughs> um, when I was 15, I did a trek across the Sahara Desert, uh, from the south to the north of the Moroccan Sahara. I saw loads of amazing things, I didn't really think I'd be able to do it, but I managed to get to the end of it, and it was once in a lifetime kind of experience. I've been teaching dance classes, and yeah, it does good, and to be asked to be a teacher. I would say my biggest achievement would be going to the Taekwondo World Championships. Actually being able to be here and coming to the UK and studying something that I love, or maybe have even learned to love, um, but it was really difficult to kind of stray away from my family and stray away from all the things that I know and come to a completely new country, a completely new degree and kind of learn everything from scratch. It's like being a child again and feeling really lonely and building up to like learning all these great friends and meeting all these cool people and just being, you know, comfortable, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, my biggest achievement was coming to England, um, learning English, settling, in England, going to school, getting my GCSE, just living a normal life in a place that's not familiar to me and just going through the whole, you know, change from Italy to England, getting into uni, working, meeting my friends, everything is a big achievement. I've been tutoring myself from the very low, like, level A and achieving level of C1 at the end of 12th grade and having actually C2 um, at speaking. So I think that's worth it. Uh, I think mine was working abroad and getting to meet new people and earning some money and just being independent. Getting into the university value team. My biggest achievement was getting into university because literally I got in during August and I was like oh my god I'm not gonna get in so then I got my acceptance there I was like woo I got in so like you know that was the greatest my artwork being displayed in the Saatchi gallery my biggest achievement is getting into university probably when I won the piano competition the Jude piano competition um, and I was sent to the Kuwait semi-finals for the uh, competition but unfortunately I wasn't able to go but to be honest that was a big achievement for me because it was a stepping stone to well, my passion basically. Secured a graduate job for finishing the end of first year. I was also able to get internships every summer until I finished university as well. Um, my biggest achievement in life is graduating from St. Andrews University with a degree in medicine. <laughs> basically I oh, my <laughs> biggest achievement <laughs> My biggest achievement will definitely be just surviving uni, to be honest, surviving life. Um, uh, yeah, man, just a lot of challenges. I didn't think I'd have to face. I had to face them, and I'm still standing. I'm still. I'm still. I think.
nigga high key. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah. My biggest achievement has to be making all the most amazing friends that I have at the minute. Nigga, <laughs> wait, wait. Just don't look at me. I won't. <laughs> My biggest achievement would be competing in the World Championships of Irish Dancing for Great Britain five times. Um, I guess my biggest achievement is actually taking the courage to take a gap year. Because before I came to university, I was working full time and I was travelling to Thailand and back and forth to Singapore. It would definitely be getting into Bristol University because I never thought it was going to happen. And yeah, I was just really surprised and it's the best thing I've ever done. Um, the biggest achievement in my life so far was probably um, getting my A-level results last year and getting into uni. Just that morning, just you know, logging on to UCAS, seeing that I've been accepted, really just changed my life. I was really bad at math, so we are great at the 7 and I was getting 1 at the 7, 2 at the 7, I was really really sad. But in the end, uh, for my final exams, I study a lot. Um, throughout the year as well and I wrote 7 out of 7 and I feel proud of that. My biggest achievement in life so far has probably been my education so at first I'd probably say the 11th class because I trained and like practiced loads for it I trained. and then I'd probably say getting into university so right now probably my educational results. I think when I was doing ballet like in my grade 6 exam I wasn't going to do it and then my teacher was like and he ended up on there and I was so happy because I worked so hard for it. Um, probably the transition in my grades between GCSEs and A-levels because I'm proud of that. Like getting to know, I don't know if this is an achievement, <laughs> but getting to know who I am, I don't know if, how that's an achievement. I feel like it can be an achievement because a lot of people don't know who they are. It's very easy to get lost in the sauce. But I'm happy to say I did it. <laughs> my biggest achievement in life so far is getting three A's at A level and getting to my first choice uni. Four. Smile. On A level results day because during throughout the whole of year 13, my chemistry teacher would be like, oh, just don't get your hopes up because you know I wouldn't want you to think that you're gonna do better. And then I got my results and I got a C and I was like, hey, you know, I surpassed all expectations. Uh, probably surviving six form with this one. I'm such a lovable a, person. Was such a <laughs> <laughs> um, probably becoming an Ada Lovelace scholar at uni. It's like an engineering certificate given out to people who do mechanical engineering. Wow. Oh, you're so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to make bloopers? Yeah, no.